Welcome back. We are fixing to, we as in me, gonna take a road trip real quick. As you see, X3's on the trailer. Uh, we headed up to Adrenaline Cycles to drop the X3 off to get it a checkup. It's first real doctor's appointment. Been having some issues out of it. And you see my truck right there. My truck's having a few issues uh, with the transmission stuff. It goes next week to get the transmission fixed. Shout out to my boy Jay for letting me use his truck to make this two and a half hour trip. Anyways, this will be quick and short, so hope you guys enjoy it. Kentucky just crossed the Tennessee state line into Kentucky we're almost there so quick question and answers time so as I was saying the uh, x3 is going to its first doctor's appointment well, I've had it serviced once its first service thousand miles hundred hours well, so I've been having some issues, and if you remember, if you watched one of the uh, the episodes, the videos of where I was replacing the the rollers and the secondary clutch when they went out, and then I sent the primaries off and got the float fault or the float mod done on the secondaries and then I had the, the primaries a little work done to them kind of help it out a little bit and basically make it more reliable anyways when I did that uh, once I put it all back together and got to driving it I kept getting a check engine light for check smart lock well never could figure out what the issue was and there's there's a couple places around me there's dealerships that are certified K&M dealers and service centers but I've had past issues with them so I opted not to take them there but anyways so never could really figure out what was causing that check engine light for the smart lock well so I just the diff lock and stuff still worked and it was still limited slip smart lock was still working so I just I rode with it didn't hear no noises didn't really have any problems well as time went on the diff lock option quit working it wouldn't fully engage so the smart lock would still work and the 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 check engine light was intermittent. Anytime you go over nine miles an hour, it would usually throw that check engine light. Well, sometimes it, it didn't. Sometimes it totally just stopped. But then that's when the diff lock finally just quit working, which has kind of handicapped me quite a bit because when the smart lock engages, uh, which is limited slip in the front, and I'm doing some crawling, basically the tire that goes up in the air is the it, it'll start throwing all the power to that one and it's not touching anything so the other one that's making contact with something won't do anything which all in all leaves me in two-wheel drive 
well so that basically just handicapped me a little bit on some of the crawling and the obstacles and I've had to you know use the winch whenever normally I wouldn't have to and I'm not flat out trying to destroy my my rig you know just send it through over something that it should normally get over on its own without beating it to death also second issue so after doing all that I've had an intermittent uh, limp mode it only does it while you're cruising but it's not consistent can't figure it out it hasn't done it in a couple months but it's it's been there I'm not sure if that's belt slip or what's going on it just goes in limp mode you shut it off pull the key put the key back on its little thing and then start it back up and everything's good so and then one more thing our uh, last trip up to tack it i think i messed up an axle um, not real sure that the axle on the driver's side looks a little off um, not real sure what happened there or what caused it um, but I noticed it on the way back whenever we got up on the dirt roads and the black top to make it back to the campground it kind of just had this jerking motion just real annoying um, checked the tires rotated the tires checked the hubs hubs seemed fine um, the only thing that we could figure is it was an axle because it looked a little off So that's some of the issues that I want to get checked out. Also, I am going to get it serviced and make sure, let them do a full inspection to give it a clean bill of health. You know, if there's any small issues, uh, things that may be developing, um, let these guys check it out because they get a lot of high praises on the X3, X3 Life pages. Um, not really see anything bad about it. Uh, they seem very friendly when I talk to them on the phone. Don't, don't seem like some of the assholes around that's local. You can call the dealership and talk to the service people, and you know they're just they're not very helpful. They they, they don't seem like they really require your business. So I don't know if that's just the attitude of certain people in certain places, but that's just not an attitude that I really like to tolerate. Get my business that way. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna get this thing a clean bill of health uh, with the truck. I'll do a video on that one later. Uh, the reason why Jay let me use his truck is the I've been nursing that truck for about a, well over a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe a little more than that. I've been nursing that truck. Uh, the torque converter is going out. It's slipping real bad uh, or I wouldn't say necessarily slipping it's shaking um, talked to a gentleman the other day he said you know it usually means that it is slipping so but I'm going to be sending the truck off here very soon uh, four days from now I'll be dropping it off with a gentleman go pull the transmission out get me a bigger and better torque converter get the transmission rebuilt beef it up and try to make the truck bulletproof because I have some plans uh, me and some of the guys to take some really big road trips and I want to be able to haul everybody's rig on one trailer also I'm looking for a wedge trailer if you know somebody that's got a wedge trailer that can support three side by sides or more um, dude let me know got cash ready to go uh, don't want it to be a piece of shit either okay i'm not i'm not dealing with junk because if i'm taking a road trip and i'm hours and hours and hours away from home the last thing i really want to do is be working on my trailer on the side of the road somewhere trying to find parts i like to travel at night so if i'm traveling long distances i like to travel at night if i break down most places aren't open so i'll be sol trying to find parts so yeah
trying to hide in the back from me. Missed it at first and I had to turn around. I was wondering why GPS was doing what it was doing. But here we are. This is adrenaline cycles. never been up here before so I don't know well got her unloaded went and talked to the service guy as you can see it's sitting right over there it's ready to rock and roll um, these guys up here seem pretty cool don't have no uh, they seem nice chilled down to earth not a uh, super uppity like some of the dealerships back home um so yeah about a week week and a half sh should have some information on what's going on with the issues i did actually get to see something that i can't tell you about because it is top secret they said so i couldn't take a picture of but it looks pretty cool and it's got me excited because well you guys are gonna find out probably within the next uh month month and a half of what's what's going on something new coming to the channel whatever this little bit of paperwork is right here but anyways i will keep you guys updated and do some update videos i am out of here for right now i am headed home peace out